go ahead and take sum of each business unit. I'll go ahead and use sum function here. And then when I hit enter, you'll notice that the total value is not displayed because the width of the column is narrower than the required width. First, I'll go ahead and copy the formula to the remaining cells. And in order to auto fit column G here, what I'll need to do is I'll need to hover my cursor between column G and H and then double click. Now you'll notice that all the values are displayed. We can similarly auto fit multiple columns at once. For example, if I want to auto fit column B, C, and D, since these columns are wider than required width, um, as well as um, column G for the values to be displayed, we can do so by selecting entire sheet here uh, by clicking on the top left corner. And then if we click in between any of the columns as shown here, all of the columns will be auto fitted. I'll go ahead and click between column D and E here. Now you'll notice that column B, C, and D, as well as column G um, are auto fitted and the values are displayed here. Um, when we did these steps, it worked on not just the ones um, uh, that was our target, but it worked on column E and F as well. So this is how we can auto fit columns in Excel. If this video helps you, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel as well. Thank you all. Bye-bye.